this is turning into a bigger mess by the day, unfortunately. Um, you know, I don't think this was, uh, you know, a maligned decision that the administration was trying to make. And I think they were right, rightly signaling that booster shots are ahead. Uh, but it is critically important as we're trying to build trust in these vaccines that we take the right steps to make sure that regulators believe the safety is, in, is there before we start giving booster shots. Um, you know, and in this case, by laying out that September 20th deadline before they had the data submitted, um, this has turned into a big problem for the administration. I, I want to play you this. Reporters pressed Dr. Fauci about boosters yesterday. Here's what he said. From my own experience as an immunologist, I would not at all be surprised that the adequate full regimen for vaccination will likely be three doses. So Fauci says likely three doses. Do you agree three vaccine doses will likely become the new standard for full vaccination? Well, there's certainly a precedent for there to be a requirement for multiple doses of a vaccine before people are fully immunized. Uh, you know, we have that with MMR, for instance, which is a vaccine that people commonly get. But ultimately, you know, we need to see what the clinical data shows. And anything about whether we need three doses or four doses, um, you know, is, is a well-educated guess. And Dr. Fauci is better edu educated than just about anyone on this. And if he thinks three will be enough, then it probably will be. But ultimately, we need to let the data show us where we're going here. I think a lot of parents like me look at this, and you know, I've got two kids under the age of 12. They still can't get a first shot. And we look at this and we say the school year, for my kids anyway, just began this week. What's taking so long with this approval process? Well, it's absolutely critical, and I say this as a parent of two young kids myself who are six and nine, that parents are rightly concerned about injecting anything into our children, right? It's one thing if we're going to volunteer for a vaccine on our own, but we should be absolutely certain that anything that we inject into our children is completely safe. And that's really why this is taking longer for young children. But let me ask you um, this. I mean, we've been injecting these vaccines into millions of people around the world for a year now. I, I, I'm not a scientist. It feels like, though, there's a lot of data out there in the world for them to look over as they look at the under 12 population and what it might do there. You're right. We've given these vaccines to a lot of adults. Uh, but there's an adage in pediatrics, right, which is that children are not tiny adults. And that's absolutely true. Their physiology and their immunology is different than it is in adults. And although, you know, the safety profile that we see in adults gives us some idea about how these things may behave in children, ultimately, as I've said before, the proof is in what the clinical data shows us. And so it's absolutely vital that we get this right, because if we get this wrong in children, we will lose parents' trust forever. Just a little bit of time left. How soon do you think we're going to get that approval? I'm asking on behalf of a couple of kids at home. So I think we're likely to get the data from the from the vaccine manufacturers by the end of September. And then it's likely that we'll have a vaccine approved two to three months after that. I'm hopeful that it will be by the end of this calendar year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.